Hey everyone, welcome to another radio video and this is another video explaining a amateur radio band and its uh, characteristics. So what is the 80 meters amateur radio band? So I did a video on the 160 meters which is 1.8 to 2 megahertz and uh, now we're going to talk about the 3.5 to 4 megahertz spectrum of amateur radio. So the 80 meter band is basically an evening or a nighttime band. It's one of the very popular bands for uh, night propagation, lots of local stations, but um, if you have low noise, lots of DX also. Uh, for example, here, Eastern Coast, North America, Europe is usually easy to, uh, un to hear on uh, this band. So it's divided into uh, several parts like many amateur radio band depending on what you want to hear uh, during daytime this band usually is pretty much dead ex except in the winter in winter when the uh, days are short um, sometimes you can hear am band, am amateur radio activity on the uh, 80 meter band uh, in the daytime but most of the uh, listening you'll do probably will go from uh, about local sunset or a little before until sunrise. So the first part of the band is uh, CW which is Morse code. So depending on the band conditions and the time that you're going to listen. It's actually very quiet tonight. I usually have more stations than that. around 35 70 to 3600 you go into another part that is um, more into amateur radio digital signals here we have uh, BPSK 31 And then, depending on the part of the world where you are, um, you start listening to um, single sideband stations. The 80 meter amateur band is in lower sideband. All signals that you'll hear that are sideband are lower sideband. So let's tune around. One interesting fact uh, about the amateur radio band, if you're trying to listen to uh, long distance stations, between about 3780 up to 3800 is pretty much where the DX goes. It's like a little space where, uh, you know, it's not official, but it's that little spot where DX can be heard, so stations from far away will often be on this part of the band. Not too many stations tonight. I hear usually much more than that. One part of the band to take note of uh, from about 3870 to 3890. Lots of AM stations can be heard. Not all the time, but a lot. Uh, the time here in uh, the evening, uh, mid evening to late evening, there's lots of AMers that are, uh, I would say, but between about 3870 to 3890 kilohertz.
news stations and uh, the gist is that uh, the models are not agreeing at all, which is uh, pretty much been the norm this winter. So uh, it's impossible to predict anything right now. One um, difference in North America and in Europe on this band, um, from 3900 to 4000 kilohertz, um, Europe is um, using that part of the band as a um, local international broadcast stations band. So lots of uh, Europeans stations, shortwave stations, use that frequency range from about 3900 to 4000 kilohertz. But here in North America we don't use it for broadcasting so uh, there could be a lot of amateur radio stations and of course if you tune around that part of the band you will often hear some European stations, weak European stations broadcasting sometimes here. One of the drawbacks of the 80 meter amateur radio band, because it's low in frequency, it has a lot of interference. As you see here, I have a lot of noise on this band. Um, and it's actually been steadily increasing as time goes by because of all the new um, you know, electronic gadgets that people buy, those new uh, HD TVs and all. Um, the noise level is slowly increasing over all of the band which is uh, unfortunate but uh, even if you're in an eye noise environment it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to listen uh, you'll probably hear some stations um, if you're using a portable shortwave receiver uh, the drawback of the telescopic antennas on portable receivers uh, is the fact that they uh, tend to pick up less signals on the lower frequencies because the antennas are so short so uh, clipping a few feet of wire, a few meters of wire to your antenna might actually improve the 80 meter band listening experience on a portable receiver. So uh, 80 meter amateur radio man, why not uh, try it yourself? Remember that most of the uh, amateur stations that you'll hear are in lower sideband. So um, try it out and uh, listen to those signals. Um, I often listen to the 80 meter amateur radio man. There's uh, lots of local hams here in the South uh, Quebec province and even in Northeast United States. Uh, there are a few uh, nets that I find kind of interesting. Uh, there's also local hams here in Quebec that actually uh, hang out almost every night on uh, here in my my location is 3765 is the frequency I tune very often. Lots of uh, local hands get together at night and talk about radio and I found that always interesting, especially when they're a little technical. They talk about antennas and radios and uh, it's always, always fun to hear. So uh, here there's one of those here right now talking. The um, signals tonight seem to be a little weaker than the usual that I'm used to. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little series uh, talking about the different amateur radio bands in 73.